I have dyslexia and I struggle with reading comprehension a lot. In this video, I'm going to share my best tips and tricks to help with reading comprehension with dyslexia. Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Talk About Biology. So I'm dyslexic and I just finished my master's degree in biology where I had to read hundreds of scientific papers and articles. I learned a lot about reading comprehension and what works for me, and so I wanted to share my story in hopes that it could help someone. So this is how I read scientific articles. Okay, so first, on my computer, I use a reading software called Speechify. Now, I use Speechify for a few reasons. First, the creator is dyslexic, and I think that's pretty cool. Second, the scientific words are actually pronounced correctly most of the time, and I find it really difficult to concentrate when they're not. Third, the free version works pretty well, but if you do get the paid version, there are some voices that sound super realistic, and I find them really easy to listen to. This is by far the best software that I have used. So for the voices, the free default version is Samantha, but I like to use the voice up here called Matthew. And for the settings, I turn on highlighting and auto scroll, and then also citations for the skip content, as well as URLs. Now this just means that they don't read the citations or URLs, during the reading, and I find it really helpful because it's hard for me to concentrate when every other sentence is a citation, like most scientific papers. And then for the speed, the default is actually 1, but I like to turn it down to 0.8 because I find that that is the best speed that it works for me, so you just have to play around a little bit to see which speed works for you. Next, I get my tablet set up, and I have an older tablet, and I use a cheap stylus that I bought off Amazon. You could very easily do this by printing it out and using a highlighter if you wanted to, but I don't have a printer, and I try not to use paper unless I absolutely have to. Anyways, the app that I use is called Markup. Then I just upload the PDF to the app, and while I'm listening to the reading, I highlight things that I think that are important in yellow, and then I underline in purple important details, and then in green, I highlight other papers that I want to go check out later. After I finish with the paper, I go through and find those other papers that I highlighted in green, and I find them in the reference section, and I number them so that I have super easy access when I go back in to find more papers to read. I find that this whole process takes me a fraction of the time that it used to, and I actually comprehend the papers so much better. I hope you found these tips helpful. Leave a comment down below. How do you read scientific papers? Also, if you try this method, let me know how it works for you. Thanks for learning with me. See you next time.